we're doing a uh, this will be a little Yamaha Badger uh, Raptor Moto 4 and I think they make one more like this but it's uh, we're gonna do a carb job and these carbs you can't buy an off-brand one because they bolt sideways I think you can buy an adapter plate uh, so anyway I've got a good top here the, the needle was stuck the float needle and uh, I got this off a guy at lawnmower shop for a really good deal so we're gonna build this grandkids just woke up so she's a little bit cranky uh, anyway uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this outside and spray it all down it looks pretty bad uh, chem B12 chem tool we'll go outside and spray it off I'll be right back Okay, that's a butter knife. You can use it. All right, went and cleaned it out, and uh, and it looks good. Really, all I had to do is spray that, and I went back with the air hose and knocked the rest of it off. I've never had this open yet, so I'm really hoping all the jets and stuff are inside here. A little bit worried because all these screws are loose. This could actually be as bad a shape as the other one. Who knows? Okay, give me a second. I heard you the first first fourteen times. Huh? Don't look real real bad. Uh, we'll just need some cleaning. We should be good. Needle came out. It's always a good sign. A lot of crud in there. Uh, I'll take this outside. Spray with some of my B12, and then we'll go back with my uh, Dremel and clean this all out. Gasket don't look like it was leaking anywhere, so that's a good sign. And uh, we'll get these jets out of here. Get them cleaned off. Well, it's pretty uh, ate up around there. I'm probably using crap gas in here. Jets are pretty clogged. Uh, I'm going to take this out there and, and hit it with the Dremel and stuff right quick. And a little B12. Um, bottom don't look real bad, but I'm going to do that as well. Always make sure you get around your drain hole there that comes out through here. Uh, that's clogged up. That'll go through your carburetor instead of coming out this little uh, spout here. That was the pressure from the front door opening. So, uh, anyway, here we go. Alright. Spray a little of this in there. I got a little bit of, uh, it used to be an oval tip, but it still works really good. See all that deterioration. Looks like somebody probably used ethanol in here, that white crap. A lot of times that's what that is. Don't put ethanol in small motors. I mean, if it's going to hold a gallon, can you really not afford 20 more cents? You're going to ruin your stuff, I promise you. It's literally, ethanol will eat the metal, if you can see that. And probably ethanol. Gas companies are making a million because it's crap. And it ruins your car. The quicker you ruin your car, the quicker you buy a new one. Probably didn't think of that. They did. Promise you did. Oh, and your lawnmower too. Nothing like buying a lawnmower and having it last like two years when you only use it an hour a week. Don't use ethanol. Good. Get as much of that junk off there as you can. You don't want any of it clogging up your jets after all this work. 
Anyway, we'll clean that up and go from there. I'll let you check it out. All that cleaned off. Uh, looks pretty good in there. Got all the... Well, you shouldn't eat so much. Got all that cleaned off. Um, when I do these little needles right here, wherever the camera's at, right there, I just take and actually just use my finger. And I'll clean that rubber off. Don't use anything abrasive. I guess you could actually use paper towel or something. Dude, you just had a brownie like a minute ago. Literally. Oh, give me a second. Recording. Alright, so that actually should see there. Uh, there's going to be four ribs on this needle here. Those little rails there. Uh, I usually just take my fingernail and make sure there is no crud on there whatsoever. And this one does have some. Scrape that until it's smooth. Every side, because you don't want that sticking. Well, great. Not right now, I'm busy. Okay. Anyway, that's on there. Uh, that metal tab there looks pretty good. If that was dirty, uh, that needle will slide a little bit on that. You wouldn't want it to stick, so you'd make sure that was clean too. This one looks pretty decent. Put your little needle on there, drop it down the hole, find your pin. All right, we got that part done. Uh, well, it looks like it's probably gonna put off just fine on there. Now we're gonna deal with these uh, jets here. And, uh, what I use to clean these off with is a guitar string. Can you can see that. Anyway. Watch out. Okay. Um, what I do is I'll stick the jet down in a drill. You don't have to crimp it down very hard. Brash, don't want to tear it up. So I've got my jet on the end of my drill right here. I'm just going to stick this guitar string in this hole. Guitar strings are real smooth. Obviously, they don't want to tear up your fingers, so it's a good wire to use to clean stuff. That jet, I promise you, is clean. You'd also want to make sure if it had a bunch of crap in it as far as up and down the sides. Uh, you can actually see there's holes on the side here, too. I bought a little kit for those. And uh, clean that off. This kit will work for these side holes, but it won't work for that main main hole going through there. So I'll use your tar string. Even though those look clean, 99% of the time they've, they've got some obstruction in them. So make sure you clean them. Alright. Uh, probably can't see through there. I don't even know how to hold it where you could, but anyway, that one's clean. I think I'm going to hit it one more time just to make for sure. Better be safe than doing it again. Put a little bend on your wire here and it'll scratch them walls. Clean off anything. Yep, looks the same. Okay. That one goes right here. Uh, 
You don't have to screw those in real, real tight. Uh, then this one you can actually, you can actually use the kit I bought. These holes are a lot bigger than this one. All rights reserved for that singing in the background goes to Shady and the grandkids. That's good stuff there. Yes, you are. I can imagine. All right. So I found one that fit in there. Just put pressure on one side and turn the thing while you're doing it. That'll do it. This carb should work after that. There's a lot of threads out there. There's carb cleaning on a uh, Yamaha Raptor Moto 4 Badger and whatever else model this is. All right, to test these carbs, uh, this is a fuel line. Car carburetor's upside down. This is probably pretty dirty, but uh, you can take a blow on it. You don't hear any sound. And then there you can tip it right side up and blow on it. You'll hear it come through upside down. It should block. No air's going through there. So uh, I put about 15 pounds of pressure with three pounds of fuel pressure from gravity. Uh, carb step.